Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com. In this video, I do want to show you a quick fix. If you've recently updated to WordPress 5.5 and wonder why everything broke, I'm also going to be explaining to you why things have broke and the variety of issues you're probably having. I've noticed a couple of major issues in 5.5 from various, even among my own clients and among requests that I've gotten to my email and just throughout the general WordPress sphere. WordPress 5.5 did bring, bring a breaking change. It was not expected to break as many things as it did though. In WordPress 5.5, they removed jQuery Migrate. jQuery Migrate is a script that loads on the front end of your website and it was loaded whenever somebody used jQuery for WordPress. So WordPress, as you know, comes with a bundled version of jQuery. And it does this so that way everything in the back end works. And frankly, it's just the JavaScript framework that WordPress has used since forever. And it's always auto-loaded and always came with jQuery Migrate. 5.5 removed jQuery Migrate. And this was on purpose, but it left a lot of sites broken. Common issues I've seen, images not uploading, that's happened. Um, your menus, mobile menus or mega menus, maybe stop working, or your slider, or you try to go to a plugin screen in your admin panel and you can't click on any of the tabs or whatever and it's completely frozen up. This is because of 5.5 removing Migrate. The good news is, is that the WordPress.org team did release a plugin to help with this issue and I'm gonna show you what it is and how to install it, but I'm also gonna talk about one annoying thing about it. You can go ahead and you just go to your plugins menu, click add new and just type in jQuery migrate helper. So as you can see, it was my first suggested type. Enable jQuery migrate helper. Came out three weeks ago. It's already got 100,000 active installs. And this was where the problem began. There were a lot more broken websites than there were expected to be. It was expected a few thousand websites would be broken, um, but several million had issues because a lot of popular plugins, um, I think Updraft and WP File Manager both had a serious issue where it broke parts of their tools and it affected many websites, both on the front end and the back end. When you install this plugin, it will alleviate that issue. It will load the old core version of jQuery Migrate. But now, as you can see on screen, it also includes a giant notice on your website that says, right now you are using the jQuery Migrate, blah, 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 blah. This is supposed to be obnoxious uh, on purpose and by design. And most people are not going to like it, but it is important that you get this information, which is why the plugin is this way. If you have a out of date plugin or a theme and it causes an error, this warning screen will change to red. It'll list what JavaScript file and the name of the plugin that it associated with it and says, hey, this plugin is causing the error because it relies on a function found in jQuery Migrate. So you might be wondering, why was this done? And is it going to get worse? Yes, uh, this will actually get worse and rather soon. 5.5 removed Migrate. It's going to come back in WordPress 5.6, not because of this issue though. WordPress 5.6 is gonna be updating the core version of jQuery, which hasn't been done in forever. If you've ever run a test and you just see that you get flagged for an out of date JavaScript library and it points to jQuery and it says there's known vulnerabilities, while the core version has patched any known vulnerabilities in jQuery, part of the issue is it's out of date, so it's just missing functions. It's requiring some people to load new versions of jQuery where some just continue to rely on jQuery migrate. So you're going to expect in 5.6 to for jQuery migrate to get updated. When it gets updated, as well as jQuery, there will be more breakage. It's just kind of the fact of the matter. It's when it, like whenever Core releases a new update for PHP and says you now need to have PHP 5.6 to install WordPress Core, and you try to skirt around that, you typically end up with a broken admin panel. Or if you've ever done it with a plugin or a theme, it's the exact same scenario. Keep this in mind, uh, any plugins that do get flagged in your jQuery migrate warning screen, you should be contacting the developer. You should be letting them know of the issue. You should bother them about it, maybe send them an email. If you're paying for it, get on your support forums, because here's why. If they don't fix it now, when the next WordPress core update comes out, there's probably gonna be even more broken. And WordPress is trying to get on board with using the latest jQuery version up to version three. 
3.x, whatever the secondary number is for the release version. So if you don't fix it now, when it comes time for the next update to bring in the newer version, even though it's bringing back jQuery Migrate, it will not resolve the issues because it's gonna be using an updated version of jQuery Migrate. What's going to happen is, is even you wouldn't be able to deactivate this plugin effectively because jQuery Migrate is just sort of a helper JS library that helps maintain old code to still run on the newer version of jQuery. You typically shouldn't be using this. It was just unfortunate of the amount of websites that were caught in the crosshairs of this update. So make sure to contact the developers of anything that gets flagged from the free jQuery Migrate Helper. Installing it now should resolve your issues on the front end. Remember though, this is a temporary fix and you should have the developers fix it properly. If the plugin is out of date and unsupported, you're either going to need to find a replacement, remove said plugin and just not use its functionality, or you're gonna have to contact somebody to fix it for you independently. And that, depending on its level of functionality, may not, may not even be worth your time. If you do have any questions though, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I would love to help you out as best I can. Otherwise, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.